Apple just released iOS 26 with a new liquid glass UI and in this tutorial I'll show you how to recreate it in Figma. Studio Shepherd. So as you can see I've started to build out some of these iOS components using the new liquid glass UI and I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is super simple but we're going to start by creating a button on top of an image so that we can see it. So select the type tool. I'm going to add the text button and I have my font set to ECF Pro which is available in the latest update of Figma which is the Apple font. And we're going to change the fill to white. Just making sure to select your text before changing. Now holding shift A we're going to create an auto layer and I'm going to have my width padding set to 20 and the top and bottom set to 14. Now we're going to give it a stroke so that we can see it and we're going to have this set to a gradient with three stops. Now change the values of all three stops to white and then the top and bottom stops are going to be set to 5%. Now drag your path so it goes from the left hand bottom to the right hand top and now we can close this and we're going to change the corner radius to 23. Next we're going to give it a fill, we're going to have our fill set to white and we're just going to have this at 2%. Now if we scroll down we're going to create some effects, so we're going to add a background blur to begin and we're going to have the blur set to 10. We're going to add another effect, this time we're going to add a inner shadow and we're going to be adjusting the top of our button. So we're going to have the Y set to 2, the blur set to 4 and the colour is going to be white. And here I'm going to adjust the opacity to 40%. And now we've got this nice highlight at the top of our button. And we're going to add one more effect. And this is going to be another inner shadow. This time we're going to make the Y negative 2. So now we're adding the shadow at the bottom of our button. I've got my color set to black and opacity set to 20%. And some final touches, we're going to change the stroke to 0.5. And now, as you can see, when we drag a button around, we have this nice looking liquid glass effect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest design tips. I'll see you in the next video.